Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. This is everything I bought at my favorite hobby store in the Netherlands. Mostly damaged packagings that were reduced in price. So let's start with the um, Hot Wheels Premium stuff. This is a little bit of an older item. This has a uh, copyright date of 2016. Ghostbusters, the kind of newer Ecto one. So this was already priced priced down from $12.99 to $9.99 and then because it was damaged only $6.99 uh, the damaging is just the um, cardboard and the blister getting uh, separated that's basically the only thing that's wrong with it uh, so uh, let's take a look at these Grab the motorcycle first. It comes with a stand apparently. I'll take out the car already too. So first up, it doesn't say much on the base there. Ecto 2 on the back. Got some details. Painted the yeah, Ghostbusters logo on the fuel tank. A few of these uh, cannons to kind of captivate the ghosts, I guess. It's been a long time since uh, I've seen one of these movies. Just so happens that the um, the guy who directed and produced most of the Ghostbusters movies, Ivan Reitman, uh, died this week. Total coincidence. Uh, spokes are plastic and are actually part of a uh, complete plastic disc. That's kind of strange. We would expect uh, metal uh, rims for these. Then uh, everything, everything else seems to be metal except for the seat and this back part and then the tires on well, the wheels completely. Cannons and the handlebars are plastic too. But you know, there's some metal on there. And then you can just set it like this, I guess. Yeah, just to uh, set it upwards or straight up. That's interesting. And then the uh, Acto One. So we've got a metal shiny base, real riders. Just a license plate in the front, no headlight detail. It's a metallic white, red roof, You've got the cherry on top, some details there on the roof. In the back, no license plate, no tail lights, just uh, some text there. Caution, stay back over 500 feet, I think it says. And I can't read the smaller print there. We'll have to watch that on a big screen. Uh, so it happens I already have one of these, um, but from a single blister and it's a little bit different. It's got the headlights painted, it's got some silver on the, the dot here on the hood. Also says Ecto-1 on the license plate, but a little bit more dot mixery, matrixy print. So you got a little different color of the roof, kind of a maroon color instead of the red. Also the, um, the cherry on top, it's just painted yellow instead of this orange clear one. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> there we go. Uh, logos on the side are the same. Got some stripes there too. And in the back, you got tail lights on the single blister one. Interior wise, looks the same, just gray on the right one and black on the left one. Details on top are a little bit different in color too. That is the same plastic piece that is on top of there. And rims, uh, they look slightly different also, yeah. 
not only in color but in the style of rim here you can see the the lug nuts and here not so much well kind of but different then to my surprise I was also able to grab me one of these the Nissan diorama piece this is uh, has a 2020 copyright date so you can see it's pretty crunched the box uh, I don't care I'm just interested in the cars inside and that's why it was reduced from 36.99 to 19.99 that is a, a nice American price for this so what is in here the retro rig the uh, Nissan Skyline GTR 34, the Skyline GTR 33, and then the GTR 32. So, pretty cool set. I never thought I would be able to grab one of these, and um, uh, these sold out at the hobby store just like a lot of these items. So, it seems like uh, when they sell out the lost uh, items they sell are the damaged ones. And so yeah, happy to uh, be able to grab this. Also got me one matchbox piece from this uh, Mustang set. Uh, by the way, all these items I've shown so far are not available in uh, stores here. Uh, only uh, like supermarkets or um, or um, um, toy stores. Just uh, hobby stores seem to have them. So this is the 2018 Ford Mustang convertible. Uh, this was priced down from 250 to 199. They have the other ones in the set at uh, 250, but I'm not going to spend that kind of money. But uh, 199, that's okay. I'll grab that. So um, there's a bunch of repeats in here too. By the way, so that also makes it uh, less interesting, definitely at these prices. But. Uh, Definitely, definitely pleased with this one. Don't have this uh, color combo. It's a nice uh, kind of maroon metallic with a tan interior. Got uh, all the details that you would want at the back and in the front. Nice rims. Yeah, definitely a nice version. Also got me an Auto World, so this is a, let's see, Premium Series Release 5 version B, 2019 Chevy Silverado LTZ Z71. So this has a kind of a crunched card here, so reduced from $8.99 to $5.99. One of 10,720. You can freeze the frame if you want to read those premium facts. It's in red hot. There's a look at the back. Um, copyright date 2020. So it's already kind of open on this side, but still going to open it from the bottom like it's supposed to be. So we got a black painted metal base, got rubber tires, authentic rims of course, got the uh, opening hood I guess, yeah, doesn't open very far and it's all black in there. And we got the opening tailgate which works very well, dual exhaust Chevrolet embossed in the tailgate. LTZ Z71 on the license plate. Nice chrome rims. Nice interior too. So I got only one other version of this, and that's the uh, high country version, which seems to be very similar when it comes to the rims. Uh, but the rims on the high country are a bigger size. That's interesting that they do that. So they have kind of the same uh, wheels but just a bigger diameter. I think this is the top spec, the high country, and then one uh, 
one step lower is the uh, LTZ that's uh, at least that's what I understand from the uh, packaging so a little bit different front end there with the um, LTZ having the chrome or silver bumper then except for the rims I don't see much difference on the side well except for the LTZ also having the chrome or silver side mirror in the back LTZ also has the chrome bumper same exhaust yeah. and then of course there will be some difference on the, uh, in the trim on the inside probably that's about everything I can see detail wise and then I was able to grab my first example of the Great Outdoors Series 1 by Greenlight 1969 Plymouth satellite station wagon so this is a little bit crunched here on the bottom and then uh, here on the side already pre-cut it of course 7.99 reduced to 5.99 very interesting set a um, lot of interesting vehicles in here so again this uh, Plymouth was is sold out on the website uh, as so is the um, GMC Sierra Classic and the Tahoe. The other ones are still available. Um, 2021 copyright, so this is new stuff, or pretty new at least. So it's a blue station wagon, so of course I had to have it. That was the only one from this set that was available in the damaged packaging. So let's see if we can get this out without too much noise. Oop, that popped out really nicely. So let's first take a look at the vehicle. Unpainted metal base, just uh, well it's got a little bit of a clear coat on there. And this uh, wheel a little bit, uh, yeah. Wonky, also with the, um, the white wall stripe being all over the place. That's a common complaint with green light. So nicely done details all around. I got a little bit of a paint defect here in the back door. And then this folds down nice and easily. Even got some, um, got a kind of a door card on the back there. That's nicely done. I like that. It's a nice touch. Huge trunk. I think there's an, well, possibly an extra row of seats in there too, like some of these often had. I like this, uh, this panel on the back. Looks good. Got the chrome bumpers. Yeah, great. So let's fit this on. I'm guessing um, the stairs, the little ladder, needs to go on the passenger side. That makes most sense to me. This is what the bottom looks like. Two pins and then this uh, little brace here for stability. So this is called the camp hotel. Top camper, top uh, tent. Camp Hotel probably being the company that made that or just a specific tent called Camp Hotel and not the brand I'm not sure so that's kind of what it looks like looks pretty cool and then the ladder um, which is kind of a standard ladder they make for all these sets so um, how it's going to fit in there. I think this is just a little bit of flashing on this side. I don't think it's meant to be there because it doesn't seem very structural sound or strong. And then this one just probably pops in there somehow. One way or the other. Let's see if this is the most logical way to do that. Maybe I do it with the camp hotel off. Oh, 
Oops. Yeah, I've broken it. Yep. The um, this thing just uh, just snapped. That's interesting. So maybe it's not meant to go in there. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's all a bit fiddly. And if you don't have a, a floor to stand it on. going to hang it like that. I think that's maybe the the best way to present this. Just hang it on there like that. Anyways. But it looks pretty cool. I think it will look nice in the uh, display case, display cabinet and it doesn't take up too much space. go like that then we got a bunch of mini GT this is the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster in Bianco Canopus as you can see damaged box reduced from $11.99 to $8.99 This has a, this is metal flake white white actually that's nice. Got the black glossy rims. Lens headlights with some uh, painted details behind them. Lens tail lights very dark red. Little uh, window there to look at the engine. Okay. Get a good look at the interior because it's a roadster. That's always nice. Get these uh, plastic mirrors. Not sure what that says. SVJ probably. Yeah. I think it says Lamborghini SVJ. Cool. The other, the only other model I have that uh, comes close to this one to do a comparison with is this Tarmac Lamborghini Aventador in the Dubai police livery. It's not the same model. It's not an FVJ Roadster, so it's a coupe, and uh, yeah, it's kind of different. Not the same, definitely, but. Uh, Can kind of compare it. The mirrors look very much alike, at least. So the tarmac also has some uh, headlight details in there with uh, some silver. On the side, there's some differences here. Uh, with the air intake for the back, looks kind of different. Probably from being different models, or different ver versions of this uh, Aventador, I should say. The left spoiler is a little bit higher and different shape too, and then, well. A lot of difference going on here in the back. I think pretty much just the tail lights are the same, pretty much, and then everything else. The position of the exhaust is different. The diffuser is different. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much a very different back end here. This is much heavier than the tarmac, having the metal base. 
that was number 224 then we got 249 this is a, not a damaged box so I paid full price for this 999 4 GT in liquid blue very nice color with the white racing stripes or go faster stripes kind of a gray or metal kind of metal gray base with the gray rims very nicely done details again in the headlights no paint this time but uh, or tempo but just a kind of a plastic piece underneath the cover that's interesting got the uh, see-through engine cover for the engine the flying buttress very nicely done and still lights and of course interior is also as expected nicely done uh, only got the green light 4 GT to compare with uh, it's got the uh, unpainted metal base so tempoed daylight uh, headlight details on the green light this is a test mule version no side mirrors on the green light Less detailed front grill there. Now, surprisingly, the green light has uh, brake discs and calipers. That's something you don't often see with green light, but this one does have that. So, and uh, the discs. And the calipers don't even turn with the wheels. That's uh, very nicely done. Also has the see-through engine cover. The engine is a little bit in a different position, it seems. The, on the Mini GT it's higher up. And it's much lower on the green light. But it's got the same uh, features, pretty much. Flying buttress is well done on both of them, I think. And the green light also has the lens tail lights. A little less detail on the exhaust on the green light. And on the, the grill just above the diffuser. But yeah, they're both nice versions for sure. Then number 252. Porsche 911 Carrera 4S this is a 992 model, the new one in racing yellow, 9 euro 99. So no damage packaging either. Just full price I paid for this, which is a very fair price, I must say. So we got black metal base, got uh, wheels that are wider in the back and in the front, got the lens headlights, tiny Porsche logo, nice black rims with the Porsche logo in the center, interior with seats this time and then well not sure if these are lensed taillights I think these are painted taillights because they're so sm so tiny that's kind of hard to tell but I think they are just painted details for exhausts so previous version they did was this silver one and this is a S not a 4S so you can see different exhausts 
S is on the left and the 4S is on the right. And also different rims, so different style of rims and also uh, silver and black, that's also different. And the front, they seem very similar, yeah, so no differences there. It's inter interesting that they do this. Uh, I will try to uh, to collect all of them, all the colors and all the different versions. The only other uh, diecast brand I have that did that was Mini Champs 64. So they did the Carrera S of the 997 model back in 2009 and the Carrera 4S. So they both did the differences the same with the exhausts. Uh, this one uh, even had a little uh, reflective bar between the taillights um, with the rims being different on both models. So yeah, these are not bad footsteps to walk in. Mini GT, or to step in. So let's take a look at these both of these S versions, old and new. So this is uh, two models ago, this 997 and you got 991 and then 992. So got uh, yeah much wider new 911. And, uh, probably a little bit longer too both wheelbase and the uh, length of the vehicle I would assume yeah not that much bigger but you know noticeably bigger and definitely a longer wheelbase did get a lot fatter on the hips And of course, bigger diameter rims too. And then the 4S. Size-wise, they will be uh, have the same difference as the other two, I assume. Then number two hundred and fifty-six. Now the RS6 Avant in silver digital camouflage with roof box, China exclusive. Reduced from $13.99 to $8.99. So, flat black painted metal base with some exhaust detail. Nice rims with silver and black. Lens headlights. The uh, Audi logo. Crazy paint job. Nice interior. Lens lights. Big exhausts. And then the roof box, uh, kind of a gray color, kind of matches the camouflage. Yeah, not something I um, I would easily buy. And this camouflage deco, I think this is more suitable for toy cars. But you know, in this case. It's not bad. It's going to stand out in the display cabinet and uh, yeah, it's a wagon so I'm definitely glad I have it. Um, I brought out the uh, Lamborghini Urus because I wanted to compare the roof boxes. I wanted to see if this is a one and the same roof box and it seems like it is. So yeah. 
they do have to make um, several bars to fit the roof box on because it seems the bars on the wagon are wider than on the uh, SUV that's interesting yeah very well done these roof boxes I like that they uh, come attached that you don't have to uh, attach them yourself or that they uh, kind of just sit on there loose that's not uh, yeah not for me and I was very excited to be able to grab this one the Honda S2000 in Bermuda Blue Pearl $10.99 reduced to $7.99 I don't have any example of the Honda S2000 in a, as a premium car so uh, definitely looking forward to this one oh yeah sweet <laughs> very nice sparkly blue black painted base with some exhaust detail nice rims it says S2000 on the side these are pretty hard mirrors for a Mini GT very nice headlights with uh, the details in there you got the uh, indicator in orange and you got the uh, headlight itself yeah all very nicely detailed I like that I like that a lot The little antenna here which is uh, flexible so it doesn't break that's very very good I like that because that's one of the things that freak me out you know spoilers like that well mostly this one you know it can break off when you clean the vehicle all that kind of stuff just freaks me out but this yeah don't have to worry about that nice exhaust tips nice taillights too again you got the different colors in there got the red, you got the orange, got the white or silver in the middle well closest to the the middle I mean on the badge, the door lock, and the back, the third brake light on the, on the license plate and then let's take a look at the interior yeah looking good I like it, I like it a lot yeah very pleased with this one so glad they uh, decided to do this one just a nice stock version that's fantastic right there and then I got me another Lamborghini from Kyosho the uh, Veneno in uh, gold with a red line as you can see this uh, box suffered some damage that's why I got it for $6.99 instead of $9.99 Pretty messed up this box. Okay, just try not to cut me on the on the acrylic. That looks pretty dodgy. Something just fell off. I think that's, um, I'm not sure what that is. What just fell off? Something, a plastic pin. That's probably to hold the, uh, the car on the base plate. Yeah, it is. Never mind. <laughs> no harm done. Plastic black base. Wheels do turn front a little bit easier than in the back so got a nice gold color with the red stripe on the side you got the Italian flag there uh, just uh, on the side underneath the door and then before the air intake
Good. Uh, these are not soft rubber, these are hard plastic mirrors. That's the headlights. Such a wild vehicle. And we got some uh, taillight detail painted and then also the red on the diffuser and the silver for the exhausts. Cool. So let's take a look on the, at the parking lot. It's going to do some uh, shuffling here because I um, don't seem to be able to fit everything on here otherwise yeah there we go so let's take a view at the parking lot sorry for the uh, shaky camera so we got them Porsches all lined up so here we got uh, the three Audi RS6 Avance I have so far I think there's a black one also <laughs> Yeah, with a rooftop box, well, don't really need that one. If I can get it for cheap, I'll probably get it just because. But um, yeah, these are definitely uh, my favorite so far. Got the Silverado, Ghostbusters. Let's uh, zoom in a little. You got three of these uh, Venenos, so I got the uh, green one and then the uh, roadster in that kind of teal blue uh, in the previous box I think I got from them then added this gold one uh, we got some more Lamborghini on the S2000 looks very good like that got the Campotel on top of that uh, American Lead sled and the Ford GT. Thanks for watching. Bye.